So how long have you been here at the Central Kitchen now? This is going on my seventh year. Right. Yeah. When I got out, um, I had heard I was homeless for a minute. And I went into um, a drug program. That's why I heard about DC Central Kitchen that. And once I got there, um, I knew I had to do something to take a new direction in my life because I was just tired of being locked up, you know. I spent my whole entire youth incarcerated. This was perfect for them when I heard about what they do here to train you, plus help prepare you to get a job. And a job was something I was unaccustomed to. Uh, so you hadn't held a regular job? Before. No, no. Uh, was it tough making that adjustment? I mean, all of a sudden you come here and there's rules and discipline. Yeah, and yeah, it was real tough. I had a lot of resentment because of being locked up and having to take orders from people that was, I figure, hadn't been in to the battlegrounds like I have. So that was the hardest. How'd you get part. over that? I got over because I was able to talk to people that were here that went through some of the same things I went through. What do you think the message of this place is? Hope. And What's your goal now? My goal now is to offer others a message of hope. When they get out, give yourself a chance. Um, latch on to any organization that offers any kind of assistance. It's up to you to take it and apply yourself um, accordingly. And that's really what, for you, what DC Central Kitchen is all about. Yeah, because at the end, DC Central Kitchen may, may open the door, but he's the one that has to decide to cross that door through. Mm. And that's what they do. And if everyone keeps doing that, we, this society is going to be just fine. But we have a lot of work to do.